get off the painkillers after just three days and then after one and a half years of trying everything to get rid of stomach problems the gastritis and the acid reflux about mastic gum what is this thing what is mastic gum i'm going to share some case studies some stories from my client practice from other gut feelers what they experienced and then most important don't miss this how to use it precautions so you have a good experience and two different ways to use mastic gum and this is really an inspiring story that's why i'm sharing this with you one of my first clients her name is anna who was dealing with massive h pylori symptoms she was diagnosed with gastritis she already had a starting of a stomach ulcer and like so many other gut feelers took the antibiotics to double round and felt worse after each round now i'm dedicating this video to her because she was the one who really inspired me to bring in mastic gum besides a bunch of diet changes obviously that's important we did cabbage juice and celery juice and because nothing else was working we also gave mastic gum a try how i'll tell you in just a few moments but let me tell you within three days within three days it was the biggest success ever she felt better her stomach pain started to become less and less and less she could could get off the painkillers after just three days and then after one and a half years of trying everything to get rid of her stomach problems the gastritis and the acid reflux after a week or so she noticed that she could sleep better because the acid reflux in the night was getting less and less and less i just recently called her before i was recording this video to really check in how her symptoms are if she's still stealing with, with anything because it has been five years it didn't come back she stick to a good diet and she only occasionally now uses mastic gum and of course recommends it to all her family and friends as you see me getting so excited about mastic gum what is it mastica or mastic gum is the sap the the resin of a tree so the blood of a tree that is related to the pistachio tree i'm from the same family and it origins in greece on an island called chio for centuries it has been used as a natural chewing gum it grows up to four meters high it's about it's something between a shrub and a tree and it's evergreen extremely powerful throughout the year it provides you with leaves and with that healing sap can only be a really really powerful medicine so let's talk about how to use it the most important thing i want you to take away from this use it don't abuse it it needs to be respected it's a very very powerful ancient medicine that can be a game changer when it comes to h pylori stomach ulcers gastritis acid reflux but you need to keep in mind anything that is extremely powerful can also have some side effects if you don't use it well now there are really two ways to use it the one that I prefer the most is as you use it in a traditional way as a chewing gum. So you literally get the raisin. I put your link down below to a raisin that it's natural. It needs to be the real mastic gum tree. It's more expensive, but it's also the purest version and the most gentle on your body. This is the version also that I used with Anna. And just to give you a feeling for, for whom this is. So Anna was somebody who was struggling with gaining weight. She was greatly underweight since about one and a half years when the whole stomach problem started and she was very very sensitive to all kinds of diet changes so this is a good thing if that's you chew the mastic gums three times a day always on an empty stomach for best impact so one before breakfast one before lunch one before going to bed or before dinner chew it for like half an hour 40 minutes as long as it feels comfortable really and then you spit it out you don't swallow it warnings for that one it's a pine sap you know it's very intense in the beginning it actually gets really nice in the aftertaste but if you're not used to it you're like like mm, what did i just bite into just stick with it start slow and one little tip here at the side if this is the version you're choosing if you're choosing choosing it as a natural chewing gum put it in the fridge don't let it get warm because when it gets warm it starts to stick to the teeth it's also antiviral and antibacterial so it, it's really good for your dental health don't worry about that one the other option that is much more mainstream that most people do that just pop a pill is not what i recommend if you want to take mastic gum internally the only really way to go there is to open the capsule if you buy it in the capsule form open the capsule put the powder into water stir and drink just the pure powder again i'll link you the one that i researched that i had the best results with in capsule form to open for you down below in the description first of all notice 
If you have never taken mastic gum before, I highly recommend to start with the chewing. You can always combine the two, but start with the chewing and get a sense for it. Like accustom yourself with this powerful medicine. Don't just like swallow everything or inject it into your veins like the B12 injections. Just go slow and move with respect. This is how the elders in every tribe are also approaching healing plants. Usually they don't just take it, make some contact first. This is how you make sure you really use it in the best way for your body. For whom is this version better? I have a person where I felt like this worked really well from my experience. I recently had a male client who was in his 50s and he was slightly overweight and he had been dealing with acid reflux in the night with H. pylori, had an H. pylori diagnosed for several years. He truly really tried everything. And with him, we did the chewing in the beginning, but we saw the best results when he used the powder. In his case, he took three times thousand milligrams per day, always on an empty stomach before meals. But for you, it might be less or it might be more. This is really like you have this balance. Start with the chewing, then start with the powder if that's not enough. Stir it into warm water because it's easier to absorb and then drink it slowly. Feel into your body like, hey, how do I feel? Do I feel better? Do I feel like, oh, this was a little bit too much? Start with 500 milligrams and then you can amp up really as much as you feel your body needs. The more, the better. Not at all. It's about finding your right dose and there's really nobody else who can tell you that. Not the package label and not Peggy on YouTube, but just your own body. So tune into it and on an empty stomach always works best.